Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jeff. If you're a Christian entrepreneur like me, you know how important it is to build our businesses on the foundation of God's Word. That's why I wrote my new devotional, Navigating Entrepreneurship Through the Lens of Scripture, a 30-day journey for Christian entrepreneurs. And I wanted to let you know that it's now available on Amazon. And you can also check it out at navigatingbiblicalentrepreneurship.com forward slash devotional. Welcome to Business God's Way podcast. My name is Jeff Elder, and I'm an online business coach, Christian leader, and funnels expert. This show is where we help established Christian online coaches create more income, freedom, and impact while keeping God at the center of everything we do as entrepreneurs and leaders. Let's dive into today's episode. Hello, welcome back to another episode of Business God's Way. Today, we are going to kick off these Friday episodes, which I'm super excited about. So what I wanted to do today was kind of share kind of what these Friday episodes are going to be all about and what we're going to be talking about over the last, or over the next little while. I don't even know how long this series is going to go on, but we're just going to listen and see what God has in store for us. So a little bit about this new Friday episode. These will obviously come out on Fridays. And the whole reason I wanted to start a Friday episode is because I wanted to do something more along the lines of leadership and a little more spiritual development, just really digging into the Bible and pulling from it leadership principles, business principles, and really just to start allowing the Bible to start to um, start to guide us in our business. And that's what I want these Friday episodes to be about. So they're going to be a little bit more on the spiritual side of things, and we're going to dive more into the Bible, like I said. And what I decided to do was to start with the book of Proverbs. That's where we're going to start. And specifically, we're going to look at what does the book of Proverbs teach us about leadership principles. And I've been blown away as I've been kind of reading through the book of Proverbs myself with just how much there is in there about leadership And of course, the book of Proverbs is for everybody. Everybody can benefit from reading it. But I also think that it is applicable to entrepreneurs, to entrepreneurial leaders. And that is why I decided to start with the book of Proverbs. And like I said, I don't know how long this is going to go, how long this series is going to go. I'm just going to teach it until I feel like we've exhausted every bit of the book of Proverbs that we can. Now, I'm not going to be going verse by verse, but I'm going to be picking out key passages from the book of Proverbs that specifically relate to leadership. And there's three buckets that we're going to talk about in this journey together. We're going to talk about the parts of Proverbs that speak to the leaders or the entrepreneur's um, responsibilities. What are the responsibilities of a leader? Then the next bucket of passages that we're going to look at has to do with how do we plan? How does the leader plan? What is that all about? What does that look like? Then the last bucket is speech. How does a leader speak? And the book of Proverbs is chock full of instructions for how we ought to speak, how we ought to communicate. And as leaders, I think this is so important that we learn and we have biblical principles 
for how we are supposed to communicate the speech that comes out of our mouths. And this part, I think, is it's it's been convicting to me as I'm going through and, and reading and praying through this. And, and so this is why I wanted to launch into this series, into the book of Proverbs. And again, we're going to be looking at those three priorities or those three buckets of a leader, right? Our, our, our priorities, our um, relationships, how we communicate, how we plan, how we talk, all of those things are going to be things that we discover together as we go through this book. And so what I want you to do is I just want to want you to prayerfully consider prayerfully reading through the book of Proverbs. There's 31 Proverbs, so commit to reading one proverb a day and just pray through it and ask the Lord to show you what leadership principles is he teaching you. What are some things that you need to change about your life in order to become a better leader? And I hope you take that challenge. I hope you take the challenge to just read a chapter a day in the book of Proverbs. Proverbs. Now, some of you may be thinking, but Jeff, I'm an entrepreneur, not really a leader. And I want to challenge you on that because I do believe that we as entrepreneurs, especially entrepreneurs who are called by God to do what we do, we are leaders. Whether you lead a team, whether you're part of an organization that you lead, right? If you, are, if you have charge over people to accomplish a goal, you are a leader a leader in your business, a leader in your organization. And part of my vision for Business God's Way is I want to not only raise up Christian entrepreneurs, but I want to raise up Christian entrepreneurial leaders. I want all of you to be leaders because that is how we make an impact. That is how we make a change in this world is by stepping up and taking leadership responsibility and moving into that. And so I want you to think of yourself as a leader. And even if you're not a leader, even if you're sitting there saying, but Jeff, I'm not a leader, I still think the book of Proverbs speaks to you <laughs> just as a follower of Christ. Right, Because the book of Proverbs is universal. It's applicable to, to all of us, every Christian. So there's still benefit to gain from going through this study. So today I just wanted to, to let you know a little bit about what's going to happen on Friday morning, uh, on Fridays, on this Friday episode. Again, it'll come out every Friday. There will also be a, a video edition of this episode you can watch on YouTube. So in case you like watching videos, you can watch them over there as well. And so my prayer as we launch into this study is that God would work in us, that he would transform us into the leaders that he's called us to be so that we can lead the people that we have been called to lead so that we can have an impact that he's called us to have. That is my prayer for these Friday episodes. And I'm really looking forward to, uh, to, to spending this time with you. So I love you guys. I'm praying for you guys. And God bless. Until next time, continue to do business God's way. Thank you.